Climate change is happening in all parts of the world. While it's easier than not to remain ignorant, the fact is that climate change inevitably affects us all. We do talk about the heat wave that has swept over our nation in recent months, and we clearly see the unfavorable effects of it. But do we know exactly how and why it happens? Is there anything that we as individuals can do about it at all? to set them right now and it's this tiny organization we found very tiny very hidden away but it's been founded since 1985 so we're very lucky to have found it and it's an organization that has been committed continuously in improving environmental quality so we're very lucky we're going to be interviewing one of the founders Mr. Anthony Tan yeah Now in El Video, what happens is in the South American West Coast and also the West Coast of Central America and North America, there will be heavy rain, whereas in Southeast Asia, there will be a very dry situation. So that's El Nino. So El Nino is the total reverse of that. So it will be very wet in Southeast Asia and Australia. El Nino happens anything between 5 to 7 years, El Nino is in between. Uh, what has happened is because of climate change, we may be actually seeing the El Nino effect and Ladina happening in a more frequently, number one, number two, more severe. About 10% of additional greenhouse gas emitted is in terms of the coolants that we use. 12% comes from the felling and burning of tropical forests, but 65% of greenhouse gas being emitted due to human activities comes from the burning of fossil fuels. For the generation of electricity, burning of fossil fuels in our industries and that is the major contribution for greenhouse gas effect. Climate change is, is due to um, anthropogenic or human activity. The situation we are having now is heavy rains happening on the west coast of South, Central and North America uh, which means that the area around the Pacific closer to Australia and Southeast Asia is uh, experiencing a dryness. So what is happening is the water vapour is actually going from Southeast Asia towards America which means there's less, less rain clouds here. The common misconception is that El Nino causes the extreme heat wave that we're currently facing today. This is true, but only to a certain extent. The fact is that the erratic rising temperatures are actually due to human activities and carbon emissions leading to the greenhouse effect and global warming. The knowledge of how the heat wave occurs is no doubt a great milestone. However, there is a bigger question to tackle. Is there anything that we as individuals can do about the problem? What we can do is, number one, don't set the refrigerator too cold. If you don't have many things in the refrigerator, you can put it less cold. Two terms of the water heater, uh, especially during hot days, if, when you even switch off the heating element, the water coming out is actually warm because the water in the pipes are getting heated up from the sun. So if we can just do little things, we will be able to save probably about 10% of our electricity. So while we were at the interview with Mr. Anthony, we got invited to an event. So here we are, we are at the SATDAM's PJ Eco Mobility, which is to promote public transport for our environment. And I was thinking, since we have so much information on El Nino, which is very helpful, uh, we should try to understand what we can do and what is the best way, other than asking the volunteers themselves on the methods they use to save the environment. Sometimes you see grass there, isn't it? 
what you actually experienced this past couple of months is the heat waves and it is tremendous. It affects your daily life. You can't go out of your house without actually sweating, getting point from, a, from point A to point B. I think all Malaysians need to get the opportunity to start changing their lifestyles to be more sustainable. And one of the biggest things you can change is the way you commute, the way you uh, take transportation from your house to your school, to work, or just to go, go shopping or something like that. And that's the, one of the biggest changes you can do. I feel that it is part of my responsibility as a uh, human being, as a person occupying uh, this world because it's more towards contributing back towards Mother Nature and it is way more satisfying than you thought it would be. We might not see climate change as it progresses every day, but it is very real. It's high time that we make a difference, because why should the next generation suffer from the consequences of our own actions?